What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to another Stylist League live stream with Ian Robinson here. That's me. If you didn't know, I'm that guy who speaks in the third person for some reason. What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? So we're back with another Digital Forge episode. It's been a little bit. Uh, so, you know, having uh, having projects to sculpt and to create is always such a fun deal. And honestly, I'm quite excited to be on here again. And we actually will have uh, we'll have we'll have somebody pop in in a couple seconds uh, and say hi because they wanted to, to hang out. And I love hanging out with this person too. So um, before we get into that though, I just want to say what's up 3D Maniac? What's up Neuro? How you doing? Welcome. So you know what? Let's just, let's just grab a person. I'm just going to grab them real quick. And boop. What's up person? Hey. <laughs> what's up man? Why is How my head so huge? I don't know. Let me back up. Let me back up here. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's back up. That's <laughs> better. Well, I'll be working way back here today. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Just yeah. slide back. Yeah. How's it going, Mike? How you doing? What's up, man? Hey, I, I heard that third person thing. Mike Thompson is happy to be here with you, Ian Robinson. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that's how we do it. Hey, you know, it's ten o'clock for you. It's seven o'clock for me, and I'm already, yeah. I'm already, I'm already good to go. So. <laughs> hey, 3D maniac. Hey, Gus. Yeah. What's up, Nuno? Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Same to you, uh, 3D maniac. Doing well, man. Thanks for asking. Yeah. 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 All right, man. So it's been a can little bit. Since... Before you get started, can I say something? Sure. Yeah, please go for it. I don't know if you guys know this. Ian has high production value. I went to your Pixo, uh, or, I'm sorry, to your um, your Maxon thing earlier today, uh -huh. and it had the, the streams about to start thing. Mm -hmm. And it was all kinds of graphics going off and previous <laughs> projects being constructed before my eyes. And I was like, wait a second. This is crazy. This guy is like got the, <laughs> he's got a whole team of people working on editing videos over there. So actually, um, fun facts. I edited yeah. that myself. I, I know you did. I know you did. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make you look bigger than you are. Now yeah. I'm a tiny person. No, no, no. At six foot four, I'm pretty small. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No, 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 no. So that was that was dope. So uh, even even in here with the, I love that you and Bradley have the special thing that takes me back every time I see it. Oh yeah, I, I love that. That's such a great add-on. It's such a cool Ooh, thing. Ooh, Gus got something in the mail, son. Oh, oh, uh -oh. what did he get? What did Wait he get? Wait a minute, Gus. Did you get one of? <laughs> Crap! I can't put my headphones on with one hand. Hold on a sec. Did you did you get one of these in the mail, player? Oh, oh no. dude, that turned out so good, man. Thanks, bro. It's crispy. It's crispy. Yeah, All right, yeah, so yeah. So uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that it got there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm done hijacking your show. Go, go ahead. No, no, no. Gus says, yeah, dude. This is you know what I love about this show. We just get to come in. We get to make art. We get to hang out. We get to be yes, chill, chill. I have this thing where I just like I'm at a thousand miles an hour usually. Dude, tell me <laughs> so. about it. Tell me about it. My dude. Now I know. I finally know what your life is like a little bit. Oh, so. Yeah? Yeah, because now I'm 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 after twenty some years I'm I'm back at a full time like nine to five nine to six. Oh, congrats! And when I finish, I have a little bit of a break. Then I have to teach classes or I have to go into meetings with Raúl and Bradley and and then like it's crazy, dude. So like when I go to bed, I am dead tired, son. So I know that's how yeah. you feel like all the time. Yeah, it's pretty wild actually, especially since I travel so much now. And that travel, I love it because I get to meet new people. I get to hang out on at show showroom floors. I get to make art for a living, mm -hmm. which is super exciting. And then I also get to teach ZBrush, which I love. But yeah. it's it, it is crazy when like it's like I'm I'm on the whole time, and then when I get home, immediately I just feel like I crash. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I need like a couple of days. Um, yeah. But uh, but I'm excited the whole time. I think that's what it's it's tons of like dopamine and adrenaline just pumping from pure excitement, and then and I get home, it's like <laughs> yeah. Then you then you can collapse. Then you can yeah. Yep. But, hey, thanks, yep. so Thank hey hey, hey Jace. Um, so yeah, man, that's good. I'm happy to be in here with you. I don't have I been on the show with you yet. That's a good question, dude. I don't. I don't know, know that I have. Actually. I don't think you have. No, no, no. Oh, I don't think man. so. Yeah, I'm sorry, well, man. First time for everything, man. No, I'm wait, here? that's not true. No, you know what? I'm gonna say that's not true. I think you've been on. I think you were here for my first show. I will. Okay, for the first one, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Cool. 
Excellent. Absolutely. Well, amen. Well, you're one of my favorite people, brother, so I'm happy to oh, be here. Thanks, man. Likewise, brother. <laughs> thanks. All right. Well, let's see. I'm going to switch my screen, and I'm going to add my camera on over. Hold on one second. Did I switch my screen? Did I do it? Did I do it? I'm doing this wrong. We're already off to a great start. <laughs> hey, better than what they could have had with the... Uh, so just so you know, we had some technical issues where Ian sounded like he had been... Uh, he was in, like, uh, Lily Pushin land or something. Oh, yeah. Good, man. Thanks, man. It is... Yeah. It's, it is a it is a joy work in progress. So I wanted to talk about this a little bit too because I made some aggressive changes the other day, and I wanted to talk about that. But wanted to just show him off a bit and do a little. I need some lotion. He does. He absolutely does. Here, let me yeah. real quick. Cause it's giant bright screen. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to like complain to to my people, but I can't seem to minimize this. So sorry for the bright white. I'm gonna just move this off. Can I move it? No, I won't even let me move it. <laughs> so here, let's just let's just go through the giant stuff before. So this is so kind of recap. Monster Palooza is definitely coming, and I also have like a fun side project that I was wanting to do. And um, real quick here, this was where we left off on the last stream. And one of the things that I like about it, I like the pose. It's a little bit. You know, it's a little bit more, you know, monstery. This the Cyclops pose. I looked up a lot of references. They always kind of seem like they're falling, but sitting and squatting at the same time, and I find that to be quite intriguing. But then, as I was going through it, you know, anytime you pose something, at least in my experience, um, you end up breaking it, and then you want to go and clean it up. And so for me, uh, that's what I started to do here. And actually, let me. I wanted to load in another material real fast. Let me load in. I found this new material that was really, really cool. It's by Bruno Camara. Really fun stuff. It kind of looks statue-y, which is neat. So it's going to be my new favorite for a little bit. But yeah, so now what I wanted to do, figured we'd come on and we just start cleaning this statue up a little bit. You know, there's some stretching happening on the backside of the scales. And then here, too, I cleaned up his knees because there was a lot of stretching. But it's still very, very rough. So we thought, let's get in blocking some new cleaner anatomy and then just kind of start getting some wrinkles in and bring some of that scaling back. So I'm super excited about it. So let's let's get the glove. Let's get the power glove. Can't do any of my ZBrushing without it. Wait, what are you? Oh, oh, you scared me. I was like, whoa, is it going to break out the actual power glove? Dude, that'd be so dope if I did. That would be dope. I bet you somebody has hacked that out so they can work with that thing. Oh, I bet. 100%. 100%. Is anybody what in here you... old enough to remember what the Power Glove is, first of all? Because that would oh. be a shame if you didn't know. Yeah, um, it, it could just be you and I, buddy. <laughs> I rewatched um, re The Wizard the other day just to see a very young Fred Savage rocking that thing at the, oh, uh, at yeah, the big... Yeah. Uh, gaming thing so that was wow cool. that's awesome that is yeah. awesome what are you working on mike i have gone back to alan the alien from invincible and mm, i'm nice. getting all of my uvs together so that i can finally get this thing into substance and do some nice. like really nice renders oh hell yeah dude that's gonna be that's awesome good. yeah just going in now and turning off my uh, textures. Is there a way to turn off texture for all of your subtools at once? Not really, right? You got to do them. One Actually, time. um, I, if I remember right, if you probably, I'm gonna say probably not. But I, the thought I had real quick was, mm -hmm. um, if you had your texture on, mm -hmm. and then you turned it off, if you went up to subtool, no, no, never mind, you can't. I was going to say, this apply last action would, would have been the way to go about it, but no, I don't think so. That'd be a nice little feature to to go in and be able to quickly check everything and then turn them on and off in the future. I, I love the feature request. Keep them coming, man. Keep them coming. Mm -hmm. I would like a flying car in the future. I don't know, man. The way people are driving these days. <laughs> you sure about? Yeah. Are you sure about that? You sure, you sure about, about that? that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that show so much, man. It's great, dude. I can't wait for more. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get a shirt from um, Dan Flashes. Oh I, yeah. 
That would be that would be great. You remember that you saw that episode where you where they had I the did. complicated pattern shirts. They cost more yep, if yep. they <laughs> put the complicated pattern. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, that, show, that show is just pure genius, man. Like it is. everything about it. It's just so good. It is. So have good. you you've been watching um the last season of Larry David. They just had the finale the other day. Curb your enthusiasm. Oh no, no, I'm not caught up on that one actually. Oh man, that's awesome. one that's that that's one that like I'm gonna just admit, you know, as somebody who loves Dragon Ball Z and mm -hmm. has like billions of episodes uh, invested, the show mm -hmm. just seemed way too long to start. I felt like I was too late to that show, so I hadn't started it. Oh, but I'm I'm always looking for a good show to put on in the background, but to like pay attention to while I'm working, but yeah, tune the rest of the world out. It's Is very it like good for that. Yeah, it's very good for like just having on while you're working, like on a second screen. It's awesome for that. Okay, so perfect. Share my screen, by the way, so if you want to just look at my mug. A second. Let me see your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's questions over here. Let's see. Uh, 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 Okay. Oh, thanks, 3D Maniac. Yeah. It's a lot on art station. It looks nice. Thank you. Is Hank Mike, are you familiar with an animation from the 80s called Jace and the Wheeled Warriors? No. no Although that's... the name kind of sounds like something that I would have seen, but let me Google that. Yeah. I was going to say, like, Sounds a little familiar, but I can't I can't place it. Oh dude, I didn't even have to type the whole thing out and it popped up. Oh nice. No I Oh wait, this kid with the rogue hair. Oh, I don't know that I've seen this. It remind it reminds me of um remember the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reminds me a little bit of that. That's crazy. No, I'll check it out. Good call. Thank you. Do you, uh, since I'm more of a '90s kid than an '80s kid, do you yeah. guys, do you guys, uh, do you remember the show Mighty Max? E kinda. What was it look, about? Tell look, me look, look that. So it's about this kid who ends up finding the special hat that basically can let him teleport to different locations, and uh -huh. he finds uh, this uh, giant bird named Virgil. Who actually is like a wise kind of owl bird, and then uh -huh. Thor, like the actual god of <laughs> thunder and lightning, they accompany him on these crazy journeys. Uh -huh. um, it was a fun short animated film or or TV show, and they had a mm -hmm. final movie. But that's one that's like it's a gem if you had never seen it before. Well, you know who's in it? It's crazy. Hmm. Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman's in it. That's oh, what right. it says. No, he played he played Thor, right? Uh, I. I, I think so. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Right, let's, <laughs> let's just say yes on that. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, that makes oh, sense, man. actually. I've been turning off stuff for like two minutes, and I still have a ton of stuff to turn off. Are you so sharing your screen? Pieces. Oh, you are sharing your screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So many pieces here. Check it out. All these things are. Yeah. yeah. Oh I'm yeah. There. We getting. We're getting there though. We're getting there. Okay, have to say, wait, go back to your screen for a second. Okay. I just want to, I just want to call this out. Sure. Thank you for using that texture map to check your UVs. Like that is just, I love it when I see that. When I see people do that, I get so uh -huh. happy because I'm like, you know what you're looking at. Like you could clearly see where everything's headed. It's just so that's cool. That's my fave. Yeah, I know when stuff is like all in the wrong direction and stuff, but yeah, no, that's what I use. Yep. So yep. what I'll probably do after this is done is hop into blender and they have um there's a i can never remember the name of the plugin but there's this thing that will you can unify all your textile oh, density textile density yeah that's a huge uh that's a huge um gaming uh feature so yeah it unifies everything 100 yep, percent. yeah so, so all you got like one k maps size. Yep, yep 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 actually you know what's funny is that uh, we were talking about that at work because um mm -hmm. We have a plugin for that on Cinema 4D as well because we've been talking about just you know all the fun stuff and somebody's like, hey, check this plugin out, and it was really cool. So, 
yeah, it's such a useful feature, 100%. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Brad Bradley showed it to me. I was like, oh, man, this is the bomb. Yep. His stuff was, like, ridiculously clean. Oh, yeah. Gosh, you got to post up pictures on uh, Discord, man. Post them pictures. Oh, my wife is in here. Hey, All right, cat. So you know what? I'm gonna have to, uh, Mike. I'm gonna have to get. Uh, you're gonna have to get this cami statue too. Now you did. You you nailed that thing, dude. She looks awesome. Thank you, brother. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Let me jump on. Let me go find it right quick. Go on Discord. I'm happy I got there. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I always get nervous when I ship a 3D print, man. Who are you telling? <laughs> I was, like, I was like, okay, I'm, uh, I have the sufficient amount of plastic. Let me, let me find some more. Uh, bubbly stuff to put in there, and uh, and I was just praying that the 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 uh, ponytails didn't snap. I actually oh, yeah. bought. Um, so what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm going to when this is actually like um, the the people that are printing it are doing it. I'm gonna have them use the flexible resin for the ponytails. Mm, so I'm very worried yes. about those breaking. Yep. 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 No, that's that's super clever, man. Absolutely, I'm starting to get into uh, a little bit more of like, what was it tenacious uh, resin, which is nice. Mm -hmm. You can mix a little bit of that in with your your typical, you know, uh, ABS style resin, and mm -hmm. it's just yeah, it adds that nice bit of flex to it, which would be perfect. And it doesn't take a lot either. You can literally like buy a whole bottle of tenacious, which I think is like sixty bucks US, uh -huh. but then. Like, and we're talking about just like a, li a, bo a liter bottle, right? And yeah. then for every liter bottle of resin, mm -hmm. like I did a little bit of trial and error. And for me, it's like, it's like, I don't know. Like, I, I would say like maybe one eighth the bottle of Tenacious for a whole bottle of basic resin is the ratio. So one, one, you know, one to eight type thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, it just prints just like, you don't have to change your settings. And it's just really nice to to get that flex. So then you can have a special bottle of resin that's like a little bit more flexible. It's nice. It's really cool. You should share. In fact, we should start doing that in like the three D print share. Mm -hmm. We should we should share like resins that that we like. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Because that that'd be great. Yep. Gus posted Absolutely. some nice pictures. Oh, you already put it together, dude. Damn. Shoot. Hey, make your screen big. All right, let's do that. Uh, let me share it so you'll have nice high resolution here. Share screen window. Nope, screen. This one. Share. So I'm going to this nice and big here. Oh, the picture's still small. That's weak. Yeah. That's, the, that's still nice, awesome. Nice, man. Here. You put it together already. So Thank cool. You. Look at that. Look at yes, that. Sir. Yes, sir. Dude, you didn't waste any time, man. That's awesome, man. Awesome. I'm glad I got there in one piece, brother. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I don't. Hey, why is it not stopping? Stop your screen share. There it is. All right. Oh, here, hold on. Let me see something. Um, Let me go over to. No, no. Let's see. Why isn't it? Go back to. You want to put yours back on? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Cool. There you go. Mm -hmm. Wasn't sure if I stopped it on accident. Awesome. But yeah, man. Yeah. So, so the new job, brother, dude. It's awesome. Thank you, you man. Yeah, can you? Uh, what can you say about it? Um, so it's the same company that does uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Okay. And I well, just nice. saw a, um, I just saw a trailer for the Gold Road, which is their mm -hmm. latest expansion. It looks dope. It looks dope. Ooh. So I, I'm, I'm not on that project. I'm on something else. But, um, but I met all those guys. They're really good people. 
It's just a great, nice. it's a great company, man. Dude, that's so freaking awesome. Very happy. I was worried because, I mean, when you freelance for as long as I've been doing it and then go back to a nine to five type joint, it's it's kind of a culture shock. A bit. Yeah, well, especially, especially since you've been doing it for as long as you've been freelancing too. like, long time. you know, I mean, I always I, I pretty much always had a nine to five, but then most of my freelance came mm -hmm. with the pandemic, like most people's. Mm -hmm. And then. And then almost, it, but like a couple of years of freelancing and I was right back at a nine to five. Like it was just, yeah, just kind of fell right back into it pretty easily. So, yeah. so I can imagine just like that not being the normal. And then all of a sudden now you're back in it. It must feel a little weird. Yeah. Um, I, it's surprising how, how smooth of a transition it's been. Like I really, oh, that's awesome. I did not expect that. So you know yeah, yeah. our cat is super happy that that uh that i'm liking it as much as i am heck yeah man that's so cool so the you know what's funny is like uh so i hadn't uh i hadn't touched this project in a little bit because mm -hmm. i don't i don't i've started now not working offline on, on some projects i've been doing a lot of it like if i want to if i started online i want to finish it online you know Huh? And uh, I look back at this project, <laughs> and I was like, immediately made a laundry list of everything I hated about it. But also, I was like, <laughs> I'm really digging it though. But also, right. <laughs> but also, yeah. all of this is uh, not good, dude. So <laughs> it's so funny how you come back with fresh eyes, and you're like, Ooh, okay. what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, we got a question for you, Mike. What are you working? F Wait, are you working from home or is it hybrid for your job? Hybrid, hybrid. Yeah, they're very, very cool about that. So, I actually went to the office because it's like a two-hour drive. Mm -hmm. But uh, I went there for the ten-year anniversary party for ESO, and um, and got to meet everybody and see all of the the different floors and stuff like that. So that was really cool. But uh, yeah, I get to work at home. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I love a hybrid schedule. I, I, I don't actually, I, I don't know, uh, like a full, like five hour work, uh, like going into the office all the time. Like I've mm -hmm. been doing hybrid now for, <laughs> for a while. So I'm like, I, can, I don't know if I could ever go back to being every single day. That's really oh. cool, man. I but but you are how long did didn't you say you're like fifteen, twenty minutes away from the office? So I am about I'm about half hour from the office. Okay. But but that's a that's an that's a LA half hour. So that's a that's a long half hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know it's what true. I mean? It's true. You know. It's true. It's like that's like uh I gotta yeah, I gotta deal with LA people. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's crazy Dude, I, too man because everybody just seems so, like so angry these days you know so really? yeah it, it, dude like it's wild like i'll i'll get on i'll get on the road mm -hmm. and uh, maybe this is just i've officially I've officially gotten to like the old man status but like okay, okay so so i drive i drive a a a honda civic type r right it's a sports mm -hmm. car like I just yeah. picked it up, such a cool car. I'm the guy in the sports car looking at other people, being like, "Bro, Corolla, why are you going 90 in a 40 zone? Like, what are you doing? Why are you weaving in and out of traffic?" <laughs> like always. <laughs> like always. why is if the guy in the sports car is driving the speed limit, can you Corolla please drive the speed limit? <laughs> it's not going to happen because people feel like they have something to 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 prove too. So that whole you know. I saw your car. It's, a, it's awesome, by the way. Um, oh, thanks, man. But, but yeah, so so Bradley has a nice car, too. I won't say what he drives. But uh, he, I'm fairly certain that when he drives that car, because he doesn't drive it every day, but when uh -huh. he does, I'm sure there's a lot of people that run up next to him and try to, like, gun it and stuff like that. Like, that's yeah. probably a fact. Yeah, probably, yeah. 
But see, I'm not even getting, I'm not even getting like people pulling up and revving and being like, oh, let's race. And literally, I'm just like, I'm just cruising. And all of a sudden, this Corolla, like, no joke, this Corolla just gets on my, on my butt. <laughs> and yeah. then it's just like hugging. And then this first instant, it's like, he's like, just jets out and speeds over and then gets in yeah. front and it cuts off the Tesla. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? Why are you guys so angry? You know the oh. best thing about when that happens is with when somebody in one of those cars is usually somebody that's driving like an old, an old, you know, like old Civic or Corolla or something like that, and mm -hmm. has like the big, uh, you know, the big ass muffler on the back, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. and they're they're you can tell their foot is mashed all the way down on the gas. Uh -huh, but that car yeah. is struggling. That car is struggling. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we were on a trip the other day, uh, uh, my wife and I, and and there was one of those cars, and he was trying so hard, and you heard the the um, you heard it like backfire every time. You know, he'd get to a light and then start again. The thing would, and then he'd, like go off a little bit and slow down. Oh and, man, yeah, I was like, that's hmm. that's wild, dude. That's that's yeah. the best reward. You're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're killing it, dude. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I think I've officially, like I said, I think I hit a little bit of an old man status because I'm like, slow down, guys. Like, you don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to go that fast. <laughs> I literally told some kid to stay off my lawn the other day. So I don't even <laughs> really? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm that's... not even kidding. Like, oh, I, that's amazing. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna front. I, I, I'm happy with my grass. I paid. I paid to have it, you know, the nutrients and stuff put on there so it looks nice and green. Mm -hmm. And there's this kid who lives, like, I'm pretty sure he's in my neighborhood. And he just, for whatever reason, the sidewalk is right there. He just walks on my grass every day. And, and he's gone before I can get to the door and tell him, don't do that. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm doing that now. That's the thing. That's also, thing. I'm calling That's out thing. music. I hate every, I hate all the music now. So, I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of it's not good, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, some of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. dude. This love... this morning, oh my uh -huh. god, this morning. Funny story for you. My uh, I'm taking my kids to school, and my daughter. They're just like they're like, oh, you know what? They're like, Dad, I'm I, let's, I'm gonna put on a banger in the car, and I was like, okay, all right, you know. And <laughs> I and I love it when they introduce me to music or something like okay. that. And so straight face. They're just like, I'm going to put a banger on. And I was like, mm -hmm. let's go. Like, all right, let's see what you right. got. Right. I threw it on the ground by the Lonely Island is what they put on. And I am just in love with it. <laughs> I was like, yes. I was like, oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. This is a banger. <laughs> so the fact that your kids like the Lonely Island is great to me. I yeah. like that. Oh, it's amazing. I feel like I've done my job as a parent pretty well. Hey, that That's good. <laughs> I remember one time getting in the biggest argument with the kids because their mom thought it was a good idea to play Cardi B mm. in the car and mm -hmm. and did not find the radio edits. And I was like, <laughs> what are you even doing right now? Like what is going oh. on? <laughs> oh, I hear this. Like what's happening? Oh wow, yeah. That 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 is something. That's something. <laughs> that's that's not a good thing. No, yeah. no. I mean, yeah. but like I remember dude, I remember when I was a teenager like my stepbrother introduced me to to Tupac and mm -hmm. uh Two Shorts and like a lot of my first early rap days mm -hmm. was was because of him and i remember sometimes he would put the tape on and he'd be like don't tell mom <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i'm like yeah. oh, i'm like okay <laughs> i used saying... to do that with saturday night live like i would have to sneak and watch saturday night live because yeah I, I was I was scared my parents were gonna hear Dan Aykroyd saying something or Eddie Murphy saying something. Oh, Eddie Murphy was wild back in the day, man. Yeah. So I just dated myself. Anybody that knows that is like, oh my god, Mike is a million years old. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh man, are you kidding me, dude? Oh, my 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 stepdad used to listen to a lot of like the old like comic relief. Uh, was it? Uh, it wasn't Saturday Night Live. It was, I think, it was called Comic Relief. Mm -hmm. Was one of the big shows, and yeah, that was, that was, those were some good times, man. Back when you know like was... um, George okay. Carlin was huge. Yeah, oh. yeah, that stuff is good. 
you you know what I listened to today that um I was playing uh before I came in here. I'm missing a piece. Something is turned off. Um was uh that movie by Please Don't Destroy. So these are the these are the guys from Saturday Night Live. They're writers, I guess, like the young mm -hmm. guys on the new version of Saturday Night Live. But uh it was actually it was not it was not too shabby. It's kind of funny. That was all right. It was shabby. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing dumb pieces on this. I don't when you have so many sub tools, that's a problem. I don't know what is Dude, I feel yeah. supposed to be on and what's supposed to be off. I feel I feel so bad for me blinding our uh, our amazing audience with this giant menu as I'm looking for brushes that I want to use. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember what yeah, what brush, I'm trying to remember what brush I used here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Right. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna try something, Mike. Do we'll it. have to get a ZBrush uh, crash counter for yours truly over here. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> it's either that or what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go chipmunk status. Oh no! Don't do that again. <laughs> Let ZBrush calculate. It's, it's fine. Yes, do, it's I, fine. Do, I, do I do I sound okay so far? <laughs> yeah, no, you sound good. Okay, cool, cool. No, no, like seriously, like I've been noticing my system has been um has been struggling a bit. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm just like my work computer is is pretty good. Uh oh, hold on one second. Yeah, my work computer is pretty good, but this computer, it's getting old, man. Yeah. Are you did you got one of those Titans, right? Yeah. When when uh the the uh what you call um uh, and I hate it when I forget words. Intel. When uh, Intel was doing the thing. Oh. There he is. Ian's frozen. I did, yeah. For work, I did. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. This What's is not good. What are you trying to do? You oh, you trying to like capture the uh, texture? Oh, there he goes. You trying? To... Yeah. So anyway, yeah, on yeah, the digital yeah, forge to tonight, I'll be working yeah. on my cyclops. Oh, hey, dude, we're both working on cyclops, guys. I just realized that. How crazy is that? Yeah, that's not yeah. planned at all. Yeah, like we. No, it's not. <laughs> that's insane. How about it? I love it. Let's let's see if I can pull the texture. I don't remember which one I used. That's why I'm trying to extract it. But yeah, I think my system is 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 just dying on me. That's that's where we are. I don't like that you guys keep adding features that I love to ZBrush, and then I forget how to use the things that I loved in the version that came out right before this one. So I tried to do an extract mm -hmm. the other day, and totally botched it like i went back and watched videos i'm like what am i even doing wrong like i couldn't figure it out but um but yeah i do that all the time with things now because i can't remember stuff so there's that it's, it's not just you man that's <laughs> uh like oh clearly uh it's not working for me <laughs> oh you're getting the kind of tinny over there Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, this was a bad idea, and I knew it. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> Wait, can you blame me for committing? I, I I called it, and I was like, you know. No, no, you called it. You called it. And pop, pop goes the weasel. It, there it goes. It was. Did it freeze? It went out. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it popped. <laughs> okay, sorry to laugh. 
Yeah, that's okay. I think I saved it. And if not, oh well. Okay. Man, have you been Maybe. watching... Um, Let me reach. Uh, oh, this is what happens. I can't remember anything. Oh, Kias Masons. Have you been watching uh, Kias Masons' like Instagram videos lately? Yes. Yeah, dude, he's killing it, man. It, it's, I mean, I don't, he always I don't, does, but... Yeah. I don't like how easy it makes him, it, he makes it look to do incredibly detailed hard surface stuff. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to say I hate on that. I don't like that you're that good. Calm down. Stop doing that. <laughs> it just makes my stuff look all the more janky. Yeah, no, dude, he, he flies like super crazy man like it yeah. but it's cool it's i i love i love what he like i i, I like watching him but i can't mm -hmm. I, it's crazy like hard surface sculpting the way he does it like mm -hmm. for me i can't i can't hard surface that way i don't know what it is but um yeah i kind of i kind of struggle with that oh look i didn't lose that much let me see a switch i didn't lose that much yeah, yeah we got some of that back so there we go now would it be easier if you because the way i'd probably do it how, how many polys is this guy so far 17 uh, or 17. no only four thousand four four million well his body's four million but in total 17 yeah so when i get nervous about that stuff mm -hmm. i i uh, usually will copy off whatever the sub tool is by itself i'm telling you what to do like i need to tell you let me mansplain <laughs> to you how your software works ian yeah, yeah, please. This is what go. you do. This is what you do, sweetheart. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> please help me. <laughs> this is how yeah, exactly. Um, so no, but I, I usually copy off. I do the see, I did it with my hand and the, it's not even that high. But I'll copy off whatever the subtool is, clone mm -hmm. it off by itself. Yeah. And then and then I'll delete everything except for the part. Like if I was gonna extract that back, yeah, I would just isolate just the part that has a texture and delete everything hidden and then do the extract yeah yeah that dude you know what it is like 100 mm -hmm. agree i 100 agree with you like full on and i know what it is for me it's it's, it's like it's like those people who don't save for like three yeah. hours and yeah, then it yeah, crashes yeah. and they're like yeah. oh i didn't even save i'm yeah. just like i'm gonna do a thing and i don't like i'll save so much but then uh -huh. I'm like, extract that. And I will not prep for the extraction. I'll just be like, fuck, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I like how you sound like a doctor there. I, I don't prep for the extraction. <laughs> no, we just do it, man. We just, <laughs> just do it live, let's, man. Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> do it live. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, that's, that's, how, I, that's, how, I, that's how I operate. Yeah, um, you got to fly my yeah, seat pants, bro. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I think I found the proper scales here. I did, yeah. There was that one, and then let me import a couple more. Yeah, I think I. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, was it these? No. You know, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna do that. It's risky. All right, let's just finish up the anatomy first. We'll get to this next. My brain's a little uh, a little kaput these days right now. Right. Yeah, O said that uh, that uh, Kiosk Masons does make it look so easy. It's true. Yeah. Yep. It's just cool though, because like with his workflow, man, like if you watch him, you'll you'll see like he's definitely that artist that's just honed in his his entire craft and style. And I just I, I just love watching him work. Like he's definitely yeah. somebody for me. That I'm just like, dude, I can watch you work all day. Absolutely. So now explain the dynamic to me though, because it's so Kiosk Mason is is Marco and somebody else, right? Is it two people? So it's not, it's not just him, right? Yeah, he has a he has a, a partner that he works uh -huh. with. I, th I think it's I think it's a really good friend of his. I, I forget his, partner his name sculpts though. Too, though, doesn't he? Yeah, they, they do. Okay. They both sculpt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I want. I, yeah, I want to say that uh, it's a, it's another guy as well. But I, I I'm pretty sure Marco also does things on his on his own. Okay. Like I think he does. Like, I I think he just 
doesn't know how to do anything but just like go out there and, and just slay the whole time because that's yeah. what it seems yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. like him okay. and michael pavlovich they don't they don't know what rest is dude i don't understand like i feel like either michael pa My mike pavlovich has the multiplicity type of a setup where mm -hmm. there's just like carbon copies of him like multiple paths running around doing yeah. the workload <laughs> It's got to be yeah. right, or or he has some type of a time dilation device that allows him to, to just stop time and work for a day, and then you know it's only been like a blink of an eye for us because he gets too much, too much stuff done. He's on the West Coast, right? No, he's a uh, uh, mid states. Oh, okay, because I was like, I got up at seven the other morning and he was streaming, and I'm like, wait a second, it's it's, what four for him? I don't believe that. No, 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 no. I think, uh, I, I think he's like, like I said, like Midwest. Okay. Like, like I want to say Texas. Okay. Uh, the, oh, okay. But I don't know. I don't know officially. That would make more sense. Yeah. I don't know why I thought he was right there with you. Cause he, uh, cause I, I'll do the same thing. I'll see him go live. Mm -hmm. Um, like, but when I see that notification, I'm just waking up and he's usually leaving. Like, there's only been like a handful of times I was actually able to to get into a stream and watch him stream. I usually, he's usually done before I get out of bed. Yeah. So Gus said, uh, Cedric is his partner. Cedric. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Thanks man. One of these days I'm going to get that. Um, well now I don't know. They've done so many since Marco's done so many since then, but the, um, I wanted the wasp statue, mm -hmm. but then he did that, um, mantis one and i actually watched him make that on his youtube and it's oh, sick man. yeah i, I kind of want that one too now yeah man he's just he's just dope <laughs> i've officially got the brad grotman kind of a problem now where i have statues and no place to put them the, the yeah this this is definitely like this is starting to become a it's starting to become a problem for me. I have to stop myself. I have to remind myself I don't have. Like I bought a I bought a bigger 3D printer. I bought the uh, mm -hmm. Anycubic uh, Cobra 2 Max because I'm like I'm working on like a uh, couple big projects, and I needed just big prints. And <laughs> I bought it, and then I realized, oh my god, I I barely have space for this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, why did I do that? Is the Cobra PLA? uh yeah yeah okay. it's it's nice man it's really nice. nice if you need a big printer to just get things off then yeah. that's that's the one for you very nice yeah oh I hate when this happens you see my screen oh yeah 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 is that the dynamish no i i went to i went to hide part of the geo the geo mm -hmm. and it all disappeared See, look, like that, and then if I bring it back, it blows up the mesh. What? Yeah, I've had that before. Let me turn off... Um, or I'll turn off the uh, Sculptures Pro and see if it helps. Oh. Ready to blind everyone. Oh, dude. Well, I just... no, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hide the mesh. Here, check this out. Let me share my screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So... If I now try to hide this, just the purple, see how everything disappears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, real quick, go, go, go back for a second. All right, uh -huh. go to, um, go to geom geometry mesh integrity. Uh, all right, uh, check mesh integrity. Let's do that. Yeah, that is up here because I use it so much. But is it? How is it? Well, I can just take. Oh, you, here you, it is, right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it says, and then it's cool. It fix my ice. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it says it's partially hidden. Oh, maybe that's why. Wait a minute. What's hidden? Check mesh integrity. Mm -hmm. Fix mesh. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Here, do it real know. quick. Hit save. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, good. good idea. Save. Oh, I'll do a quick save because I actually didn't save this thing. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, hit, hit. when in doubt, let's just hit save real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good call. Yeah. So I told Ian, as soon as I'm out of here, I'm going to start watching Fallout because I've been super excited to watch this show. And oh, now I can watch yeah. It. All right, you got to tell me what you think of it, man. Well, you got to well, be honest. <laughs> so my, my, my company makes the game, so I, 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 I'm going to love it. I can tell you right now. Perfect. But it does. It looks good either way, though. Like it, the, if it's anything like the trailers... Forget about it, man. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah, that that that's one that like if you like it, I'll, I'll sit down and I definitely watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I started been... watching. Oh, go, oh, go ahead. ahead. No, I was going to ask you: Have you been watching uh, Invincible? I have not. No. No, I gotta it's got to get like back a on. weird release schedule, but I think they're back on track now. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. I started watching Blue-Eyed Samurai. I'm a couple Ooh. episodes in. Wow, you're going to love that. That whole that whole series is dope. Yeah. yeah. And it already Actually, got picked up for season two. Yeah, I'm I'm already liking the first couple episodes. But but the, the person that recommended it to me, they were just like, I know you have kids, so... Mm -hmm. Don't watch that show around your kids. Yeah, not really a kid thing. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, okay, okay. And it was so <laughs> funny though because like, you know, my my son and I were watching uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh yeah. And dude, I love that one. That one's super awesome. So I I started watching it. I watched the first episode, Blue Eyed Samurai. First episode uh -huh. on my own at work, like on the just vibing out, working, and I was like enthralled with it. So I was like, okay, I gotta I gotta watch this one when I'm not at work because I really want to pay attention. <laughs> so yeah. then I was like folding laundry and I was like, okay, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch this episode. I put it on and as the intro is going, my son comes out. He was like, you watch an anime? And I was mm -hmm. like, you can't watch this one. <laughs> right. Was, but we have this term. I told him, I was like, I'm vetting it. And, and so in my house, like my kids, uh, even at their age, which is like 16, 13, uh -huh. If they want to watch a show that is uh, possibly of adult quality, mm -hmm. they have to let me know what that show is, and then uh, I'll vet it, and their mom will vet it. And we'll, we'll take a look and just see, you know, if we think it's appropriate and stuff. Um, and so uh, that's what I just told him. I'm like, you can't watch this. I'm vetting it right now. And he was just like, oh, okay, cool. But thinking by by the end of episode two, I'm like, there's no way in hell he's watching this show sure. <laughs> for some time. <laughs> Well, dude, the simple fact that your kids will wait until you vet something before they watch it, that's amazing, especially for teenagers. Because yeah. mine would have been like, yeah, I'm looking at it on my phone right now, player. You, you, um, you know, actually, my son did do that with uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. He mm -hmm. started it without me. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, dude, I was like, you can't, you can't do that. All right, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I had, a, I had, I had that, that father talk with him. He's been pretty right. good about it though. Like so. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it's uh. But it's a good show, so I'll, I'll can't wait to finish it. Uh, White Samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do <laughs> so I don't just blind people here. I don't know why I just started doing this. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know why I started doing that like giant full screen. So I'm going to go real quick on a on a little exploration off screen real fast. To see if I can find the right uh, scale that I use, because I know I know it's a flip normals. Um, it's either a flip normal scale or it's a MLW Creative uh, scale that I used, because they, they had some nice uh, scaling. So let's see, let's see if I can find that. 
I bet you it's MLW, actually. You seen his stuff? No. Mm, that's that's one to look up for sure. But I'll I'll share a link real quick, actually. MLW Creative. He's really fun. He does a lot of time lapses. Mm -hmm. uh, he's based out of the UK, actually. Um, but uh, and he works at DNEG, which is really awesome. So, but like here's, I'll, I'll share a link with the chat so they could see it. It's actually pretty cool. There you go. Yeah, that's a fun one. But I've 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 purchased some of his brushes because they just make my life easier. Is it this one? Uh, no, it's ratings. Okay. Not that one. Yeah, Marcus Winnie. Yeah, that is him. Yeah, he's really good. This reminds me that I never finished my Venom sketch. Oh, gosh. I got so much crap to finish, Ian. Man, dude, I have so much stuff to finish. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> the, the amount of things. I Like, I, I think this is just, this is just real talk. I have way more unfinished projects than I've ever had finished projects. Oh, yeah. And I don't think that's ever going to change. <laughs> no. No. That's, that's just facts. But uh, what are you going to do, man? You know? Yeah, exactly. I'm okay with this, though. I've come to, to, to this realization. There were so many things that I was like, okay, I'm going to work on this for ZBrush Live. And mm -hmm. I would milk it for several episodes of ZBrush Live. And then um, I'd get a you know a movie poster or something I had to work on. And it was like, okay, well, I got to put this down. And then I'd completely forget about it. You know? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Like, yeah, let's <sighs> something new in Stylus League. Yep. All right. It actually was MLW Creative stuff. Yes. Cool. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. All right, which means I know where it's at, which means now I can I can go find it really quickly. So let's see. I love his stuff. Sorry, right, let's go. Let's go import. Are brushes you're talking about? Because it looked like that's what he was, he was messing Yeah, with. yeah. So on my screen now <laughs> is a bunch of his Photoshop stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, and so, yeah, he has a lot of this just like cool like scales and stuff like that and he provides like the the jpeg and the photoshop one i always use the photoshop one um because i feel like it's just a little bit more of a just it just feels a little bit better than the jpeg one but they're, it's all good like as long as it's a nice black background and black is seen as as transparent in zbrush mm -hmm. then it's usually pretty good so so i was using like uh like this one right here which is pretty cool. Uh, pick the wrong one, of course. Boom. So let me pick this guy. Yeah, there we go. Let's pick in that one, and then let me import a couple more. That one as well. Yeah. Because then. Just get some nice, good coverage and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So it's it's pretty cool. I like it. I usually will try to like grab a few of these, and then there's there's a single one here too. I use that one a lot. I think it's this one. Yeah. That's nice. You can put a few of these, these down pretty quick. I, I like his, I like his style. It's pretty neat. Smart man. I would have drawn every one of those things out individually. You know, I used to, and then I realized I don't got, I don't, I don't have time to always do that. I know I oh. can do it. So now I just like, now I'm just like, you know what? I, I, I've, I find that sometimes I'll do this thing where, I will literally just, uh, I'll just 
go support an artist <laughs> and mm -hmm. then it'd be like i i'm feeling lazy today so i'd rather spend money at the problem <laughs> hey man working smarter not harder nothing wrong with that yeah yeah yep. especially when you have other stuff to do yeah it's it's all about time you know like mm -hmm. so i mean i still got to come in here and individually put them all in and make it make sense so i don't mind uh I don't mind doing that. It's yeah. starting to hit me. I, I, I might have to drop off soon. I, I just... I got quiet for just long enough. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. It's all 11 o'clock here. Yeah, dude. No, it's late for you, man. I appreciate you just hanging out, brother. And I, I've been meaning to do it for a while now. I'm glad to be here, bro. Oh, yeah. And you're a busy guy, man. We we appreciate you streaming. So. Oh, I love it, dude. It's It's been nice to get back into some relaxed streaming and sculpting. and Like, I, I love streaming at work and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, You know? But uh, sometimes, dude, it's just, like, really cool to just sit back and and just vibe out. Yeah, 100%. There, let me load a couple more of these, too. There's a couple more I want, I think. Yeah, this one, for sure. I always find it's the, the spice of life, the variety here with some of these things. Hmm. So I don't know if you remember, I used to give Bradley a hard time because he loved the tour box so much. Mm -hmm. And I would just like kind of bust his balls about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got one. Yo, let me tell you something. Yeah. yeah? It's the truth, man. <laughs> it is so nice. Like, it is so nice. Dude, I've been seeing. Okay. When you guys said that you like when he mentioned he got it. Uh huh. I was like, okay, I was intrigued by it. Yeah. And then I didn't. I didn't commit to buying one, but mm -hmm. then at work, one of the guys that uh, he's always doing like crazy CGI stuff on the computer, and he has like all these stream decks and stuff. Uh -huh. Somebody was like, "Oh man, you know, it'd be really cool to like get this guy a, a cool present. Like, do you have anything in mind?" Mm -hmm. And then that's when I thought of it. I was like, "You know, that tour box thing. He seems pretty cool. Like." Yeah, should probably check it out, and, <laughs> and everybody I showed it to, they're like, "Dude, this is awesome!" Like, oh, it's we didn't truth. know this. this looks cool. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, and I have I have so many of these types of devices. You know what I mean? Like, I got a Stream Deck, I got the Space Mouse, I got a bunch of stuff. But being able to like, it's incredibly intuitive mm -hmm. and customizable, and then. Um, and I, I, I don't have any deal with them. So this is like just an honest testimony, but, um, I have it hooked up for Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So for work, when I'm painting, like I can do all of these repetitive things that I normally have to go back and forth between my keyboard and my, um, and my Cintiq. Yeah. And, and now I can just keep my hand, one hand on my stylus on the Cintiq like you're doing and the other hand on the tour box. And I don't even have to touch the keyboard at all, bro. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, that's pretty okay. sweet. That is really sweet, dude. That sounds, yeah, that sounds really cool. Okay. I got to anyway. do some good stuff. No, that's awesome, man. I'm going to have to check yeah. it out for sure. Because so I like the Stream Deck, but um, uh, I definitely would like to to try a few more few more devices like that especially if it makes your life a lot easier yeah man give it a shot i got it on amazon so i was like okay if i don't like it i'll just send it back whatever but yeah. um I, I definitely really liked it i got the elite so it's a little it's uh you know it's a little more i feel like premium than the cheap one okay but, okay but they just came out with a whole other model so i don't I don't know what's what anymore. I'm not sure. They're all good. But yo, let me let me jump off and see the missus. I haven't seen her all day. And um, everybody, yeah, man. have a good night. 
Yeah, dude. Enjoy yeah. your evening, brother. Cool, man. You can tell I just kind of like I got real boring all of a sudden. All the all the energy came out <laughs> right there. But, it happens, uh, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, man. Well, yo, uh, take care, everybody in the chat. Good seeing everyone, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See you. All right, man. Sounds good, dude. Later. Thanks, Thanks bro. All right, you're all stuck with me now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, he does so many time lapses, man. Yeah, MLW does. He does a lot of time lapses and stuff. Which is, dude, I, I actually, it was really cool to be able to, like, chat with him at one point and see a lot of his work. Like, yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. So, oh, cool, guys. So what else is going on with you peeps? Any Any fun news and such? I'm headed to, if anybody's headed to NAB, let, let me know, because uh, it'll, be, it'll be really cool to connect with you if you're there. All right. And real quick, too, actually, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to, I know I shouted him out already, but I'll shout out these brushes I'm using, too, because I think you guys would really dig it. Let's see if I can... Pull them up real fast. Cause actually, it was it was pretty cool. Um, let me show you. It's not this one. Let's see. Let's go here. Yeah, I'll share this link with everybody. So like this, some of his brushes are really awesome. So for you guys, if you let's see if I can share the link here. Now it's getting, it's giving me weirdness. One second, boop. Oh, no, oh, bummer. What? It's not letting me. It's not letting me share the link all of a sudden. Okay, well, either way, yeah. If you just look them up, they, I mean, th these brushes are pretty awesome. All right. So yeah, basically right now I'm just trying to clean up the anatomy too because a lot of this just feels a little, it felt really stiff in the beginning, but I'm actually kind of digging the way it's coming out at this point. I think I need to fix his, his calf and stuff. His calf feels a little broken to me still. There we go, there we go. Oh, I have a question for the chat. Have you guys seen the movie Monkey Man? I forgot to ask Mike that question, but I'm going to go see that on Friday. If anybody's seen it, I'm curious what you guys think. Okay. All right, let's put this back over here. And let's come in. We're going to focus... We're going to focus on this part of the anatomy. We'll clean this up a little bit. Then the other thing I want to do as well is I want to add a little bit of an environment. So maybe like a, get like a skull or something in place. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like down here, like he's murdered some people. Maybe steal some parts of the uh, the skeleton that ships with ZBrush. Let's get this, this section here bent up. I went too high with that spot. You're going to go see it tomorrow, Arkham? Oh, nice, man. Nice. Dude. Dude, it looked really good. Like, the, the trailer and stuff. I haven't been excited for, like, an action movie in a while. And I saw that. That one looked really awesome. So I'm excited for that. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually make this ground a little bit more ground. I'm gonna back away from like the 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 high detailing of this of the scales right now because I think it's it's fine for now. I want to be able to check it with some fresh eyes and kind of have a look see and everything. So in the meantime, let's actually create let's create some ground and then let's also create um, like some rocks and then we'll like maybe play around with like a dead body or something. 
down there at the bottom. <laughs> we'll have somebody be murdered. So let's do this. So this is the typical base here. So I'm just going to go in and throw in another cylinder real fast. And let's scale this up. I'm turn perspective off. They don't typically work in perspective, but for this, it'll be... It'll be pretty, it's actually pretty cool to see the statue that way, but let me create the ground. So let's go edge loop. Let's delete loops. Let's drop this down so they have like a little bit more of a solid base here. Actually, let's leave this centered for a second. And then let's grab all of this. I'm going to move him more in line with this cylinder so I know he's in true world space because he's just a little offset at the moment. Hey, and what's the goal for this piece? How far you want to get it before printing? So the goal for this piece is actually part of a bigger project. So I started, the start of the year, I started a God of War project and I still want to continue it. Um, but I pivoted a little bit because uh, Monster Palooza is coming up. And what I want is to be able to 3D print them for Monster Palooza. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But for right now, I kind of want to tell a little bit of a story, too. Like, I like the fact that he's, I mean, he's at a point where I'm pretty satisfied with him and I'm more kind of noodling at the moment. But I do eventually want to texture him and get him, like, a really nice render. But there's some areas in which I'm now just kind of going through and cleaning up. But I want to tell a story, and since he's a Cyclops, even if I didn't have, like, you know, Kratos or any other God of War uh, character here, he, a Cyclops by himself, you know, Greek mythology and so forth, is actually pretty cool on its own. So telling a story, maybe having, like I said, I want to create some dirt here and then have pieces of, like, you know, just like a corpse or like a dead Spartan uh, armor down here at the bottom. So this way, when you see it, you kind of get the sense of like this creature's scale and overall proportions. So, and then for printing them, I actually want them to be quite big. I want to see how bold I can go, but I have a big enough printer, so I'll probably shoot anywhere between 400 to 700 millimeters. Now, that's a wide range, but that's quite tall. So, I, what is that? What is that in? What is that in feet? What is that in inches? I can't remember. But that's about as big as I want to go. So maybe that's like almost two feet, maybe-ish, maybe a little bit taller. I don't know if you like mathing, but yeah, that's that's about that's gonna be about where I'd want to be with it. So let's do decrease real quick and just subdivide. Yeah, that's fine. Ultimately, yeah, I just kinda wanna it's just nice to have just like a nice detailed statue. So let's do this. I'm going to create, uh, let's create some noise here. So I'm going to turn that off, but we're going to go spray. Actually, instead of doing it that way, let me try something real fast. Let me come in here. Let's Z remesh this. So let's turn adapt on, but kick this up a little bit. Adaptive. It's like my bread and butter where I go Z remesh or adapt turned on. And I usually start kind of high. I don't need to start that high for this. Let's say 15. Keep groups, but turn that down to zero so then we don't get a lot of shrinking. And then adaptive size so that the quads are pretty even but still adapts to the surface. So if I were to do this... That's great. Yeah, 70 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'd be nice and big, right? There we go. Boom. So let's do that. Let's get something like that. A little bit even of topology. I'm not really concerned about these poles. That's, yeah, I don't really care. If we work, if we did care about poles, then what we could do is we could just come in here real fast. Let's go ahead. Let's delete lower real fast. If we cared about poles, the way we can do this is actually through slice curve. So we can come in and separate this mesh here. And then we can clean this up a little bit. So I'll divide a few times just to get a little bit more resolution in those areas. And then deformation and then polish by groups just to get that so it's nice and nice and tight. 
And then for this, we'll take crease and uh, not crease all. We'll uncrease everything, make sure there's no creasing. And then we'll just repeat this process. And this should get us pretty close to what we're looking for. What's up, Ram? Yeah, this is a little bit of a last minute thing. I hadn't streamed here for a little bit. And then, um, and then I'm traveling a lot uh, between April and May. I have a lot of travel scheduled. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit. But I'm excited. So, yeah, I wanted to be on here. So this was like two days ago. I was like, hey, guys, I think I should stream. <laughs> so, okay. So from here now, you see I still have these poles here right one two three four you could tell like they're just they're they're getting kind of gross there so and they're really just disgusting so what we can do is we can go to transform and let's just make this even topology but on the z and on the x will it's hard to see on that red so you can see over here we'll turn on symmetry and then we'll turn on uh, on both the x and the z right and so when I go ahead and say, let's do same and zero mesh this now. So I'm going to lose a little bit of that asymmetrical, and that's fine. But now you can see where those poles actually would end up. It's a little bit more controlled. So if I were to say zero mesher now, and do this a few times. There you go. So you can see here, now those poles are more in a controlled spot. And we can just relax that. We can go pretty low. And now you can see these, they, they made up fairly decently. So that, that'll give us some nicer topology. And actually that works out pretty well for his feet. So we could turn symmetry off if we wanted to at this point and kind of smooth that. Subdivide a few times, but let's do it with smooth turned on. There we go. And then we could push this down just a bit. And now we could kind of make this a little bit more like dirt or something. So let's go to surface turn on surface noise and I think if I go to plug in here got some max on noises now and I want to say let's just try Luca let's see if Luca does what I wanted to do Luca might be a good one let's go here too we don't need color blend mm, let's see let's go to edit let's try Let's try do 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 wait no not V let's try wavy. Let's see if that gives me a little bit something different. Mm, that's not giving me what I want. Okay, that's fine. So let's just hit cancel. Let's go back in here. Maybe we'll just deal with default noise. That might be pretty cool. Mm, looks a little bit gross. So, let's try this. Let's go to Lightbox. Yeah, I'm glad to see you're here, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, much appreciate it. Yeah, much appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That, 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 that noise actually might be kind of cool. Not quite sure what... We don't need the color on that. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm overcomplicating it. Let's just do this. Let's keep this. Let's keep this pretty simple. Let's actually come up here to just a standard brush, and let's just grab. Let's just grab this alpha eight. There we go. And let's turn off. See, yeah, there we go. Yep, that's the lesson for Ian today. Do not complicate life too much. Just go for what you know. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Come here real quick, grab that. I'm going to dig in a little bit. Let's turn this one off here. Let's actually go clay. Yeah, there we go. Just, we'll dig this section out for a second. Okay, and then we'll break symmetry and get this going a little bit more. And then actually, I did that Spartan armor, so let's let's put that let's put those pieces in. So let's do that. So 
about ready to blind you all again. I don't know, <laughs> really. I gotta like figure out why this thing is doing this. So let's hit save. I have that same setup. <laughs> Looks like you got you. You have the Cintiq 24.2. Actually, no. So this one is actually the Sense Lab uh, 24 inch. Um, I do have a Cintiq as a second monitor. This one's the HD one, but this one's actually the Sense Labs 24. Um, and I really like it. It's actually really nice. What I love about it is, so you could tell there's a light source over here, right? Like I have this guy going. Um, let's put that a little bit more like that. There we go. So I have a light source over here. Um, and it's not super shiny it's not really reflecting and this thing stays nice and cool so i actually really like this tablet and for the cost too like i think this one was like 1800 um for the cost it's really really nice so yeah i, I dig it but yeah i got this nice articulate arm i love that arm i like being able to sit back and just you know just make something not blow my shoulder out that's the hard part how do you like the 24 cintiq I played with it a little bit on shows, but I haven't like, I don't have one that's like long term use. Like I don't own one. Do you like it? Okay, let's do this. Let's load. Blinding everybody. Um, let's go to my desktop. Got a war statue. No, wait, where is that piece? You know what? Let me do this. Let me close this out so I don't kill everybody's eyes. I think honestly, my computer is just um, my computer is fighting me. I think it's saying you need to upgrade me. You need to put some of this money you've earned into me, or else I will fail you. <laughs> um, what was it? Was it? Let's see here. Ooh, that's going back in time. Let's see. Work drive. I want to see. Where is, let me see, let me look up my, is it called a Wraith? Uh, no, was it? Hmm. Let me look up this other piece. I want to add some stuff in there. It works great, but I don't like the fan noise. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Um, yeah, that's super fascinating. That's one thing about um, that's one thing about the Sense Labs one is that it actually doesn't it doesn't have um, it doesn't have a fan. It's it's just a heat sink, which is super wild. Like. Okay, here it is. I found it. My undead legionnaire. Here, let's put it here. Yeah, it's too bad that the fan noise is crazy. Does it get super hot? I'm curious. Okay. All right, so let's do this. So now let's come up here. So this will be really good scale too. So this is an important piece when doing statue work. Anytime you're doing some sort of statue work, you wanna you wanna put scale in it because you're not gonna necessarily know how big or small something is. So you get to really identify that. So let's load this piece in, and then and actually, <laughs> you know what? Actually, that already. And that already feels a little bit more. So if you haven't seen this piece before, this is uh, this is uh, this guy right there. So we actually could probably chop him up a bit. But what I was thinking about was, let's see, if we come here to the helmet and we just go ahead and merge this the way it is, and we just have this helmet piece here. So yeah, let's just get that smooth. And then let's copy that and let's move it back into this. And I'm gonna clear this so I make sure that the that the that it's legit. That's legit scale. So let's go ahead and paste. 
and then I'm going to bring this forward. Okay, yeah, that's that's kind of nice, actually. So, let's scale this up. Not too much, but I... Hmm, is it too big or too small? That actually might be the right size. We can go a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. Okay, so now let's do this. We're going to grab everything on the Cyclops, and let's take... Control F and let's go and call this Cyclops, not the X Men. And then, boop, put that in there. And then here, we'll put this in and we'll call this Undead. There we go. And we don't really need the color at the moment. So let's go ahead and let's figure out where to place this. There we go. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Even just doing that is pretty neat. And then let's go back here because I'm pretty sure somewhere I have a shield and a sword. Hello. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's merge this bad boy. Oop. Yes. <laughs> uh, maybe their fan bearings are shot. Oh. Have you tried replacing the fan? I have one fan, but that makes a ton of noise. Ah, oh, that's crazy, dude. It get, it doesn't get too hot, but the fan runs too much for me. Yeah, that's insane, dude. That is insane. But hey, if, as long as the tablet works. At the end of the day, as long as it works, man, that's all that matters. All right, let's turn that color off. Now we scaled up the um, we scaled up the uh, helmet, so we should absolutely scale up the shield. There it is. And then what we'll do is we're just going to like shove this in the ground somewhere. Almost like it's maybe almost like it's buried a little bit. There we go. Maybe on the helmet as I'm as I'm contemplating life and things. Let's do this. Let's actually grab the body. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. No, that's the whole... F no, yeah. Let's do that. Let's come in here. Let's hit paste. Okay. And then we're just going to chop the head off. So let's go here. Let's go... Let's go knife curve. Let's go boop. Perfect. And then let's just turn this into a little bit more of a skeleton. So let's turn the color off. Let's come in. Is this dynameshed at all? How is this? Yeah, it's dynameshed. Ooh, that was aggressive. We didn't need to go that high. All right. Let's just come in here and just kind of make this a little bit more of a of a skull and real quick do I have teeth on him yeah I do have teeth on him so just for this I'm gonna just go ahead and merge these teeth down and just copy it real quick and then solo and then actually instead of soloing let's go V4 let's just turn this on and then hit paste yeah, there we go. Okay, great. Smooth this up. And let's just kind of make this look a little bit more skeleton-ish. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Okay, close enough. Let's just merge this down into this piece. And let's go back to V1. And we're just going to go ahead and put this in the helmet. Scale it up. Okay. 
Doopy doop There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. Let's actually grab this guy and we'll move this up a bit. There we go. Actually, you know what would be really cool is if, the, if it was kind of messed up. Like if it wasn't perfectly on his head, I think it would look pretty cool. So let's do that. Let's grab this and let's scale it down just a bit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. That works out that way. We can add some different textures and stuff to that. And then I want to add just a couple bones here. So let's do this. Let's go let's go save. And then I'm just gonna come in here, go up to tool, and let's just grab Ryan Kittleston's anatomy model. There we go. Perfect. If we solo this for a second. So if you guys didn't know, this anatomy accroche is actually really cool. It's perfect for like studying because it has all this names and stuff. But for what we're going to be doing right now, we're just going to basically steal this skeleton. So I'm going to copy this. And then we're going to go ahead and let's actually just paste it. Say something like that. I want this roughly around that size. Okay. So actually, that head might be a little too big, but that's okay. And then let's just come in here real fast. Let's do polygroups, auto groups, and then I'm just going to grab this section here. Now let's go select. We. Just gonna grab, yeah, maybe something like this. That's fine. And then let's just go ahead and split this off. So let's go split hidden. And then let's pick one more thing. Maybe, maybe the rib cage. So let's do this. Yeah. Let's well, let's go. Yeah, let's do that. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons today. There, perfect. That's fine. Let's grab that and let's just delete hidden. Boop. All right, perfect. Now we could just place some of this somewhere. We could just manipulate it as we see fit. So I want to put maybe something in the back here. At his hand having, uh, have his hand giving the last act of defense. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll let's see. Maybe we should, we should put the, uh, we should probably put like the, um, uh, like the sword or something in it. Okay. There we go. Actually, let's put this more. <clears throat> let's tell us. Let's tell a little bit better of a story. So let's put this here, like he's been here a while. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. Let's select this. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And then if we go back to, let's see, where's this hand here? There we go, yeah. There's his, there's his hand a bit.
I know this is his, I pulled his left hand. So let's maim him a little bit. Yeah, say something like that, just a bit. Maybe, let's, nope, not scale. Let's actually rotate this a bit. No, let's not do that, actually. Because then we'll have those little fingers sticking up. Kind of want to bury that just a little bit. So let's solo this. Let's come in here. Let's mask this. Let's raise this hand up just a bit. And then, let's come over here to V8. Not the energy drink. Oh, the energy drink, oh my god. Vegetable drink. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm tired? <laughs> All right, let's come back here real quick. Let's do this. Because I don't think I grabbed that uh, sword. Let's merge this together. There we go. Let's copy it. And then same thing. Let's hit paste. Okay, let's go back. Maybe something like this. Of course, we'll have it more buried. So we'll have this laying down. We can also build the ground up for it. It's not the final ground. So we can kind of build this up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Say something like that. And then let's just tie the Cyclops for a second. Where's the ground? Okay, for this, let's do this. So we want the base now on a separate on a separate thing. So I'm gonna grab just these two items. Grab these two and then I'm gonna merge this into into a base. Okay, so now that, that keeps that separate, which is nice. So now I could come in here and just turn the cyclops off. And we could just look at what's going on here. <laughs> That's a body body. Yeah, exactly. All right. So now we could come in here and let's do this. Let's grab the ground. And then let's, let's build some of this up. Kind of bury this a little bit. There we go. What time is it too? All right, cool. Yeah, we'll probably stream for another 30 minutes to an hour. We'll see. But I want to finish this thought. I think it's, I think it's going to look pretty good. Where is this? What is this? Outer eye. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's move that up. Outer eye. Interesting. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then let's get that sword back on there. Bam. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool.
So it's amazing too, like just with adding in just the this, this skeleton now, like now you get a little bit more sense of like how big he is. You feel a little bit more like it's actually like it's, it's actually like larger than life type thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you see the eclipse uh, I did in my network? Uh, or you did in New York. Um, I did not see the eclipse, but I didn't go outside and look. I was one of those guys I was actually, I was stuck in a meeting. <laughs> so, but actually I'm more curious on like, I heard that uh, our government, the US government was like, like they wanted to like, do, like NASA wanted to shoot rockets into this thing. <laughs> And then I heard that like CERN turned on their hydro collider, just like some weird stuff. So I was like, I want to know what, what all that was about. But um, I've seen enough pictures of the eclipse. It looked pretty cool. But yeah, I was, in, I was unfortunately a little bit in a meeting. So then I didn't actually get to go outside and do that. Work summoned me. Lame. <laughs> Did you, was it cool? Like, was it cool to see that in in real life? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Ray Harry Harryhausen vibes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, we need some rocks too, because it's like I still want to fill it with some things, but I am liking where this is going. So, so we need a couple rocks here. It's the only way that's gonna. We need a boulder, and then I wonder too. Like, I wonder what else. I want to do more with it. Like, I want to do more with the base. But let's 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 stick with one thing at a time. So we're gonna come over here. And let's actually, let's just pay some, boop. Here, let's do this. So I'm going to stamp him just so he's off over here on the left-hand side. And then let's go down to the base. I'm going to insert a sphere, and we're just going to solo this out. And I'm thinking that we're just going to... We're gonna trim this up a bit. So let's come over here to extender. Let's extend this out. So we get something like this and something like that, which should be fine. And then let's go ahead and accept that. And then all I'm gonna do here is coming up to curve, knife curve. We're just gonna chop this up just a teeny bit. Actually, that's, that might be a bit much. Let's do that. So just tripping off the edges and then let's come over here and let's go Dynamesh. Let's check our resolution. It's pretty low. So let's just hit that. There we go. Yeah, it was cool. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah. I feel like maybe I should have gone outside and had seen it. That's still awesome though. All right. So let's chop this guy up here. So I'm just going to get some rough shapes first. And I'm not I'm not planning anything really. I'm literally just chopping. Just kind of get that oh, wrong way. Let's go this way. Let's come over here. Let's go by something like that. Okay, that's close enough. Come down. Perfect. Say something like such. All right. And now let's go ahead and just get, I'm going to get trim dynamic and actually let's do H polish first. Kind of just lightly smooth stuff together. Get a little bit more like this. Actually, let's extend this and let's do this here real quick. So actually here, here's the thing. So I want to actually reshape this. So I just decided I changed my mind on the direction I wanted to go. 
So I'm actually going to proxy pose this, get this pretty low resolution because it's Dynamesh right now and I don't need it to be Dynamesh, but I want to reshape this. Actually, let's grab this. Let's grab our mask lasso, back up a little bit, blur this, kind of reshape this a bit. There we go. Turn proxy pose back off. Brings back that high detail. And then let's go to our mallet brush. So let's go brushes. Boop. Let's do mallet. If you were in my stream earlier today, uh, on my Maxon stream, um, we actually covered making rocks today, which is pretty cool. It's a little aggressive. We don't need it that much. There we go. Perfect. Again, we're just picking a direction for this. Yeah. Let's do that and let's go to trim dynamic. That's not a rock, that's a boulder. You guys know what that's from. <laughs> you get uh, you get 50 IR bucks. I don't know what you'll have buy you, but. <laughs> It'll be something. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of cut into this a little bit more. That's why I like the mallet brush here, because you could just literally, like, push this in. Like, you can come in here. You can get some really nice texturing and some nice cuts happening here. Because the mallet brush, like, basically is, like, trying to hit a flat surface. So, because it's not truly flat, you can, like, chip away at this, which is fun. There you go. So, you can make little shapes like that. And again, I'm just stroking all in the same direction. That was that was aggressive. Don't be aggressive, don't be aggressive. There we go. Okay, let's go H polish here real quick. Hit some of these up real quick. There we go. And we can actually go a little bit stronger of a focal shift. And then now, let's finish it off. So I do know I have these. I know where they are, too. So brushes. I do have some orb brushes. And then let's bring in orbs crack, which is nice. And then let's also bring in... Real fast. I would like the... I think it's slash three, actually. Let's see. Yeah, slash three is pretty cool. And then Unamas, the big one, the one I really like, is actually boop, 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 where are you rock noise? And actually I lied one more rock texture. So we got rock detail and rock noise. They're just nice little subtle ones that you can do here. So here you can make some pretty nice details with these brushes so here we can now complement 
a lot of what's going on here with our basic shapes. And I like to use it cutting in too. Like, I don't just like to go one way. I like to do the other. I like to cut in a bit. And then let's go here. Now that that's actually not going to work for what we want. There we go. Okay. Now let's go back to the mallet brush now. I'm going to hit some of this up. It's a little bit lighter than that. Okay. Let's actually see if we could place it now somewhere that makes a little bit more sense. So obviously it's a little too big, so we can kind of crush that a little bit. offset that maybe stretch it maybe pop that down pop it down there we go a little bit of a buried there we go yeah we could do something like that not super even surface now bring in some organic shapes to it all right, let's clear that just for a second. There we go. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty cool. All right, let's put that right there, and then let's come back and just isolate it. And now let's now we can finish off with a couple of cracks. So a little like stress cracks. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, let's come over here. Let's do uh, not the slash. We actually want to do orbs cracked. So I want to actually come in and emphasize some of these manually. So I'll come in here. Actually, let's up the resolution. We scaled it down a little bit. So I'm going to increase the resolution, turn Dynamesh back on. So that's a little bit more dense. And then let's do this. Let's go up to morph target. And we're going to store morph target. And we'll even store that history just to call it back. There we go. I'll say something like that. There we go. Just using that. And then let's go back to our morph brush. And on some of these edges, you can end up giving it kind of a sharp focal length. Just kind of bring some of that back. And it gives it just a little bit of a sharp edge. So not everything is like really rounded. We can cut a little bit harder actually with some of these. Just with a damn standard. So go a little bit deeper than we think we should go. Something like that. Come in here real fast. There we go. bring some of that information back. So yeah, so there you can see just a little bit sharp. Just little sometimes just the little details like that. And 
There we go. Let's go a little bit more intense with that. There. Hey, happy extruder, man. How you doing? Thanks, dude. Yeah, man, this has actually been a, a fun statue. I, I, it's been one of my slowest progressing statues, though, not going to lie. Because I've done... I've only done stuff on stream to this piece for the most part. There's been a couple things that I think maybe... Uh, I think maybe that I like went in and tried to tweak a little bit, but nothing too crazy. So, I was happy to come back to it today. Okay. All right. So we're going to go pretty deep with this gouge here. And then, again, we'll go up here with our morph target and just make that a little bit more of a sharper edge. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. This thing's looking pretty awesome, man. Pretty happy with them. Really want to spend some time still cleaning up the anatomy a bit, but I do like the scaling on the back. I want to feather it out. So I want his back to be like kind of uh, kind of rough and leathery like this, and then I want it to kind of have a fall off, but I want him to have some soft spots too. Like that's super important. Nice, nice. Okay. All right, let's actually do a couple more rocks, like little ones that we could just scatter around and stuff like that, making it a little bit more like one rock is not enough. That's You can't just have one rock. So then it doesn't, doesn't feel right. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just let's stamp them over here and then come back over. Let's save. Yay, that'll be good. Travis, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? All right, so let's let's do the thing I promised myself. Let's call it Rock One, and then let's call this uh, Base Bottom. Real real important naming convention. Let's call this uh, Dirt Don't Hurt. Boom. Now we know. Hit save. And then let's come in here. So we'll stamp that. And then let's hit solo. And then let's insert a cylinder. Let's just frame that real quick. Okay. And then let's pick... Uh, let's come over here. Perfect knife. And actually, before we just do the knife brush, let's do move infinite. And we're just going to get, like, a kind of stone shape. There we go. Sure, that works. And then all we're going to do with this is just dynamesh it. So let's come up here. Get that resolution, which is pretty low. We'll increase that just a bit. Okay, that should be good. And then let's go to our mallet brush one more time. Let's just hit it. There we go. Did 
them. And just like that, we got a rock shape. I want this to be a little soft. <clears throat> like, a little rounded. So, let's come in here. There we go. So something like that. And then, let's do this. Let's go to our rock noise. Do a little bit of softness on that. I'm gonna do like a smooth relax. Drop that noise down just a bit. And then we'll come back in here to some rock detail. See something like that. Boom. And there we go. Got a rock. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to we're going to end the stream probably here actually. Just duplicate this rock down a couple times and call it for the night. But let's get a couple of these in first. So let's put this guy here literally just nice and small right I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this one I'm gonna push this in kind of round this up a little bit just squeezing the shape of it like just changing the you know the actual like scale on the X and Y or something just it brings just a little bit more dimension to it which is neat and then let's go ahead and control shift D duplicate one more time. Come in here. We could stretch this. Make this a little bit more of a flatter rock. Maybe run this around. And that way you're not sculpting 20 different rocks all at once. You made one and then you just manipulated that. There we go. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah, thanks, guys. Absolutely. Here, let's do this one more time. Let's come in here before we bounce, and let's let's just actually just get a little bit of this dirt in here. Bring this up a bit. Let's actually turn this texture off for a second. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There. Kind of bury some of that stuff in there. Awesome. Let's hit that. I like to bury things. I like to in, just in place, like incorporate it into the environment. You know what I mean? Like, that's super important. That way it looks like it's been there a while. So sometimes I'll just do like just enough. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I think that's going to pretty much call it for the night. Let's go ahead and just take a look at them real fast. So, yeah, we have this main angle right here. He actually looks really looks mean. I love it. It's a top view. Let's hit that side view real quick. So we'll actually, I'll need to do some more detailing and texturing and stuff. I actually might turn around and do some more stuff. Um, I might do some more stuff offline just to get him finished because I wanted him ready for Monster Palooza. But I'll share progress photos too, actually, in the in the, the Style of Sleek chat and also on my stuff too. So, all right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for everything. Really appreciate you hanging out. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys are at NAB in Vegas next week, stop by the booth. Come say hi. It'd be really cool to see you. Uh, if not, dude, I'll see you guys in the Discord. So with that, I will definitely catch you all later. All right. Hold on one second. Got something. Got something. Got something. Wait, hold on. Let's see. 
Has he stopped? Has he stopped motion ready? Awesome work, thanks, man. Great job, thanks for your time. It's good to see you back. Yeah, thank you guys so much, dude. Seriously, appreciate you all. All right, we'll catch you all next time.